I'm going to do a tune that I really, really love to do, and I'm going to do it with my bass on my loop pedal. So uh, here's a tune called Some Other Time. Where has the time all gone to? Haven't done half the things we want to. Oh, well, we'll catch up some other time. Oh, I know, that's the truth. There's so much more embracing Still to be done But time is racing Oh well We'll catch up some other time When a fun is starting Comes the time for parting So let's be glad For what we've had And what's to come up some other
consider this part of the argument, I mean, not argument, but discussion, um, that you almost have to be a singer-songwriter and a poet in order to do that collectively from scratch. If you're just a, a music writer and you hand this over to a lyric writer, then that music is already set up with a cadence of its own. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. When you hand a, a piece of music over to a lyric writer, they have a cadence to then have to follow. So that, that's why I say it, if for a uh, lyric writer, songwriter team to work together, this, the lyric writer has to have, yeah, so I know. They, it has to have uh, the cadence that matches up the music that the lyric writer receives. Now, like I say, if you're a singer-songwriter, right, it's a chicken before the egg kind of conversation, exactly right. So that's my point, and, and that's why I think that uh, the, the two can be de different skills. They can be co coincidental skills, you know, in a singer-songwriter combination, but to have a separate lyricist from a musician who is writing music that's a, those are two different skills in my mind. That's what I think. Exactly. discussion, Susan. Exactly, Saturday. Certainly can. <laughs> 